Hi, my name is Julius Chetanyi. I'm a paleo illustrator or paleo artist, uh, and I restore dinosaurs um, for basically the public to see. The uh, picture of the Brachylophosaurus corpse that is based on the mummified remains, uh, I began with a kind of a, a field site sketch of what the bones looked like all together before they extracted them from the ground. So basically, um, the, the first thing that I want to do is to take a skeletal reconstruction of the dinosaur from a paleontologist. Then we use that, um, I use that to uh, flesh out the dinosaur. So on top of that, I will start to add the muscles and the skin layers. Uh, that helps to kind of put together the animal itself. In cases where I want a background as well, I will take photographs that I have taken, and for those I actually make special trips to certain places that have the right kinds of backgrounds based on what uh, paleobotanists know about the area, as well as uh, other geologists, what we know about uh, these kinds of areas, and of course the paleontologists who studied the dinosaurs and other life forms, other animals that would have uh, lived around then. How much guesswork goes into it very much depends on which species of dinosaur we're looking at. Some of them don't have a lot of uh, bone material from which to work. And those ones, there's a lot more guesswork, but um, a lot of it is based on related dinosaurs, for example. And in these cases, uh, there's a bit of extrapolation happening. In some cases though, such as the Sinusroptrix, or in the case of Leonardo itself, uh, so much of it is actually preserved. All of the bones are put together, and a lot of the flesh is on top that much less guesswork is involved. And with color, of course, there's always gonna be some guesswork until we have some idea of what color may have been like. Nobody really knows for sure about that yet. There's speculation. Um, color is probably the one that has the greatest guesswork. Uh, it's also the one we have a lot of fun with as um, uh, paleo artists, but we still try to keep it as realistic as possible and so in many cases, you try to imagine what an animal would have had in its color pattern based on where it lived, like today's animals. So there is some guesswork, but it's based on uh, scientific research, either from paleontology or from other areas, such as ecology.